Hello, welcome to my dressing room backstage here at the Celebration of World Tour. That's me. That's me. Come in, come in, come in. Hello, Bobbleheads. Welcome back to my YouTube page. Of course, it is me, Bob the Drag Queen. If you're here, please take a moment to subscribe to my page, turn on the notification bell. It helps me, helps you, help us. And it helps my algorithm. So please and thank you. Welcome back. For those of you who don't know, I don't know who doesn't know, but if you're a fan of me, it'd be weird that you don't know. I am on tour with Madonna right now. We are doing five sold out shows at the Kia Forum in Inglewood. That is our LA show. I'm very excited about it. I kind of want to do one of these in, in Madison Square Garden or Barclays, but it didn't work out. And here I am in LA at the Kia Forum doing, doing it for you all right now. So we're good. I'm, I'm proud of us. We got something good going here. So let me just start getting ready to show you how I get ready for the tour and just catch up my life because I feel like um, maybe a lot has happened since I like last spoke to you all or hung out with you all or talked to you all. Oh, here's what's gonna happen. I have a new assistant and stylist. Um, you got, there's a camera here. This is, this is Rob. Rob is, um, lovely. We've been together for how long now? Uh, six years. Boy. Six, uh, about six, eight months. Around so if you see me wearing some lovely outfits for the, uh, tour, he dresses me each time, um, puts me in these intricate costumes, which I will show you some of them we have here and we have pictures to put there. There's one, there's one of my costumes. He, oh my God, yeah, there's one too. And this one right over my face. Um, anyway, all right, thank you. Can you can beat it? I can beat it. I'm gonna shave real quick. Ooh. I caught a fucking skin tag or something. I actually don't use um, a razor when I shave, which I mean, I don't think anyone's shocked, but um, I have really curly, coarse facial hair. So if I shave it too close, it, I get ingrowns. Like, I, mean, I already have ingrown. There's an ingrown. My neck is full of ingrowns. So I don't want to like encourage it anymore. Oh shit, I just, some of the hair just flew into my eye. And if you get ingrowns, I recommend Tin Skin. I haven't used it in a long time. When I used to use it, it's great. Tinned Skin. Oh, I did get myself. Oh my God, girl. We have struck oil. I'm fucking fracking on my own face. Someone's gonna like murder me for this, but like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, you just get over it. But um, I just moisturize my face with body lotion. Is that wild? I mean, in the mornings, I use um, Olay, oil of Olay, and Dr. K. But before I do a drag show, I just get some Vaseline brand cocoa butter and just... And I feel like every time I tell someone to do this, they, they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, girl. And honestly, I think I have great skin, so... You know what, my, two, my routine works for me. And at night, I just wash my face with like baby shampoo. So that is my skin prep, which is not great, which by the way, is very different than the skin prep that Naomi, when Naomi did my makeup, that was insane. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Naomi came to my home the night before to do 45 minutes of skin prep. The night before the, the makeup, it, 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 it was insane. That was, that was, that was wild. That was too much. That was too much. Like, did she do that before every gig? But also, or, or, was it, or, was she, or, or was she just getting on my skin? All right. Also, I want to show you guys this. This is a gift that Madonna got me. It is a, it's out. It's quite opulent. I would not buy myself something like this. It is a Versace tumbler cup. Yeah. With a B on it for Bob. So I, whenever I get ready, I put something classy in it, like a Coke Zero. Put it in my Versace fucking tumbler. I'm like, girl, I would have taken something from Etsy. Like, uh, you didn't have to go to a full out, like, you know. I appreciate it, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying no thank you. It was a very kind gesture. Madonna, if you're watching, because I know you always watch my YouTube page, Madonna, hey. <laughs> Thanks for the cup. See you on stage, see you on stage in about an hour. Yo, I have not shaved my eyebrows in months. It's probably been a year even, actually. This is literally the most eyebrows I've had probably since I was 29 years old. I used to never shave my eyebrows before going on RuPaul's Drag Race. Even on Drag Race, I shave my eyebrows. 
I kept them the entire time, except at the finale. I started shaving my eyebrows at the finale of Drag Race. And then I just kind of just been trimming them ever since then. But, but also, as you can see, they're faint. So it's like, it's like, there's not a whole lot going on there. So top of the show, I come out in this Marie Antoinette look, which is, let me tell you right now, y'all, this dress is opulent. This dress was made literally around the world. It was like embroidered in India. The bodice was made in London. The skirt was made in Wichita. That's not true. But like, I'm saying this dress has a fucking passport and it has traveled extensively to make it back to these United States of America. And then of course it went on tour with us. So this dress just really, has seen some places, some things, and some people. Um, so this is my nod to Madonna's 1990, 1990 Vogue performance, where she wore this Marie Antoinette dress, which, fun fact, that is the same dress that Glenn Close wore in Fatal Attraction. It's Dangerous Liaisons, not Fatal, Fatal Attraction. Oh, it's Dangerous Liaisons? Yeah. Okay, she wore it in Dangerous Liaisons. Literally the same dress. I don't mean a regression. Glenn Close and Madonna were in the same dress in this movie. And, and now the dress is like, apparently like legend has it, the dress is just like somewhere out there in the world. Cause it was like, it was a rental from a costume shop. This is Juvia's place. I love this concealer. I use this my highlight. The color is 11. Yeah, I love it. It's so good. And a little goes a really long way. Okay, I use Inglot's uh, um, gel liner. Oh, I want to show you guys something. Did you grab that mirror from the at BOMO, we have these new mirrors that we're going to be selling very soon. They come with this cute little shattered effect on the front. But how cute is that mirror? And yes, we are selling stuff at BOMO. I know. I fucking know. Having a makeup company is, all, is probably harder than you thought it was. I know it's harder than I thought it was. That I can say with certainty. Okay, I do my brows like this. I do two little lines in the front like that and try to make them even. These are not, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're off to a rocky start. Are these, what is going on? Is this gonna be one of those fucking days? I can't. Sometimes your hands just don't wanna do the fucking thing. I don't know there are girls who do their eye, their eyeshadow before their eyebrows. That is, that, I, don't, I, I can't make that make sense. I cannot make that make sense. Well, those aren't bad, actually. I look cute. This also reminds you that even if you are an accomplished drag queen who's on a world tour with Madonna, who's won all these awards, even you two can still struggle with your eyebrows every time you get in drag. Honestly, there was no struggle today. I've really enjoyed performing for uh, New York City. It was just great. I mean, New York City, both Brooklyn and Manhattan were just amazing crowds. I gotta say, much to my surprise, LA turned. Cause LA notoriously has kind of crummy crowds, like notoriously. But y'all showed up and showed out. I think there's there must be some folks from like the valley or something, because I was gagged actually. I was like, oh wow, the LA is really like being loud and having fun. Cause sometimes the LA girl you just be too, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's not always fun performing it for a show in LA. But this one, so good. So good. We done this is our fourth show today and I've had some some of my favorite Vogue guests because you all know that we do we have guests who join us on Vogue every night Kevin Prodigy Kevin Aviance uh, Miss Cracker Ali Wong FKA Twigs who? Sephira Cristal oh yeah Sephira Cristal Santa Claus also fun fact Santa Claus fell Santa Claus fell. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at Santa Claus. But all I'm saying is like, we're on stage, and all of a sudden we look up, and then Santa Claus is like on the ground, like as if he's been like tackled by a dancer. I was like, what is happening? Oh yeah, um, Kelon, who's also known as uh, Terry Joe, has been a guest judge. Um, we've had some amazing judges, like honestly, truly. Oh, and so last night, Kylie Minogue, Kylie, I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot say this woman's name without doing a horrible Australian accent. Kylie, her name is just so Australian. The name, like you sound, you can't say Carly Minogue without sounding like you're like from Adelaide. I'm a big fan of Carly Minogue. Um, Kylie Minogue joined Madonna on stage. They sang, I will survive. And they sang, la, 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 
Can't keep it out of my head. La, 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 la. I just, yeah, it was honestly great. It was really sickening. All right, this one thing I can't talk through. Hold on. But like, imagine you go to a Madonna concert because you're a fan. All of a sudden, Kylie Minogue just walks up on stage. What? And also, fun fact, she, so Kylie Minogue, so Madonna years ago wore this shirt, like a black tank top with some rhinestones on it that said Kylie. So then Kylie wore a black tank top with some rhinestones on it that said Madonna. My God. It really felt cute. Like, you think Monet would do that for me? Would Monet wear a shirt, like a rhinestone shirt? Let's get a, a, a Monet rhinestone shirt. All right. Let's get a black tank top and just rhinestone Monet on it. I gotta wear it somewhere. She would not. Do what? She would not do. She would not. She wouldn't even wear a fucking sweater I got her. So yeah, she's not gonna fucking rhinestone a shirt for me. But you know what? I'm still gonna do it for her. And if anyone has this footage, bring Vogue. I gave money a shout out. I actually on stage yelled, soak it up into the microphone in front of 17,000 people. I don't think anyone knew what I was talking about besides like the the, the few like diehard Drag Race fans in the the crossover of uh, Madonna X Drag Race the Dra Madonna X Drag Race world. All right there we go. This I feel like this is that where I lose a lot of you, except the drag queens and the clowns and the girls who do make a lot of makeup. Y'all are like, oh yeah, I understand. This is that where a lot of y'all like, what's happening? Where are we? How do we get? How how did we get here? I know. This is banana luxury powder. This is probably um, Nymphie Wynn's favorite uh, makeup. That girl really fucking loves bananas. Like, what are the health benefits to potassium? Can you look that up? What, what, what are the health benefits to potassium? Isn't that good for your eyes? No, that's that's keratin. Potassium is good for blood pressure and bone health. Oh, so, honey, Nymphie's blood pressure must be Popping, bear with me, this part looks crazy. I know this part looks crazy. I I know, trust me. Do you guys wanna see everything I'm using? This is Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Mahogany Br Powder Bronzer. I use it as a highlight though, right under my eyes. Just to warm that up and to knock off this here, you know, cute. I will use makeup until it is done. Like until it is literally like, girl, it's a wrap, let it go. This is called uh, Black Brown. It's an eyeshadow by Ben Nye. When I tell you this makeup is it was wrapped, girl. You see this, Jacob? Do you have a good shot of that? No. You need to hold it to uh, this camera. Why well, did? There you go. It's, it's, it's fine. It's the makeup is shit. The point is the makeup is cracked, busted, and disgusted. That, that's the point. That's 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 what I'm really trying to impress upon you. But you know what? It still works. Like the makeup still works. So like, what I'm gonna do? Throw it away? This is like another. This is like another month. Of makeup, because eyeshadow can last a long time if you are wise about how you use it. To be honest, because sometimes we do a little much. I mean, I'm a drag queen, so I would probably fall into that category of people who do a little too much with makeup. Or would I? Somebody, somebody else think I don't wear makeup. I will never cry over you ever. Bitch, don't give me a challenge. Okay, hey drag queens, do you ever find glue from like three days ago? in your eyelashes still? And, and you've taken showers ever since? Like, how long have I been carrying around a clump of glue in my lashes before anyone was gonna say anything? At what point? At what point? This is how I get my eyeliner even, okay? I take my finger and I put it by my eyeliner and then I touch on the other side where it feels like it's in the same place. Yeah. And then I dig my fingernail into my skull Yeah. and I look at the dent. Yeah. And I draw it from there. Oh, that's what Miss uh, that's what Miss Kim does in her makeup tutorial. <laughs> Gouge her skin. So I have a couple of parodies of Madonna songs that I write on tour. I don't perform them for anyone, but but anyone standing within earshot. We of had Gabriel. a really good one recently. But I say instead of holiday, I like to say Hollandaise. So <laughs> I was just like Hollandaise. What was the Whitney Houston? Mayonnaise. Honestly, I'm kind of eating today. Low key. Also, I feel like a lot of you all think that my makeup is still what I used to do on Drag Race Season 8, which, by the way, is just great. This is what I look like on Season 8. Come on now. Music. Makes my pee hole. Come to Garcon. 
Yeah. So whenever I am doing my makeup for the show, I start off with this face that I'm doing right here. It's honestly kind of crazy. I actually have this like sped up version of the whole thing that I can show you all, which is honestly wild. What I do is I start off by doing this face. At the, before the show starts, obviously. I open the show. Immediately afterwards, I take off my eye makeup. I take a makeup wipe, I wipe off my eyebrows, I wipe off my eyeliner, I wipe off my eyeshadow, take off my lashes. And then I put on like a little uh, little gay boy beat. What I have on then is just like some blue some blue eyeshadow with some um, like cream shimmering on the inside and just some lip gloss. And then I come back stage and I get dressed like a sad clown in this look. So then I am I'm in this I'm in this sad clown look, and then I so I have these like these obviously these big white marks to represent like the 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 eye the eyes of the clown, and then I have about twenty eight minutes or so to redo my eyes again. Now I'm doing this blue and black eyeshadow look, an eyeliner look, and then I go on stage for Vogue in this look. And then I become a rodeo clown, which is where I put this big sad mouth on, this one here. Then I come back and I wipe that mouth off. Then I put my lipstick back on. And then I come out in this look for I Don't Search I Find. And then at the very end of the show, I come back as Marie Antoinette again in this look. That's kind of crazy. The fact that I get in and out of drag during the show is a little wild. I'm actually proud of myself. And I was gonna hire Layla for this Layla for this gig, but our availabilities didn't match up. But I think this would have been great. Like when I do my makeup faster than Layla does, I think anyone can do their face faster than someone else does it. I think Layla also probably does some more intricate details than I normally do on my own face. If I'm really in these streets putting the fucking pedal to the metal, I could probably get my face done in like 25 minutes. Um, it would I would be looking crazy. This is the black brown that same eyeshadow. I'm just using it with this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, I've been looking at the wrong camera. With this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, A10 brush. I love this little blending brush. I mean, there's a really even a, a even better one from MAC. Oh my God, this brush is so good. The um, 24 from MAC is another great blending brush. And then the, this might actually might be my favorite. Sugar Pills uh, called the um, Tapered Blending and Crease. This fucking brush, so good. Love. She has some great brushes, some really good brushes. And they, they're all different for different things. One's for blue, one's for black, one's for brown. And those are really the only eyeshadows I, I wear most of the time. And I usually change like the, my little lid, but I don't change my eyeshadow that often. Now this is an old school trick that I should probably update, but I've just been doing it for so long that I, it's just kind of part of my drag now. I take all nighter, spray one pump in the cap of the all nighter, I take this Mayron bronze uh, metallic pigment. And by the way, y'all, this pot lasts for like forever. I think I've had this for, I've had this for years. This makeup might be toxic at this point. I've had this for literally, literally years. I have one in silver, one in copper. And I use the copper because the gold is actually a little bit too, um, I don't know, translucent or something. But I dip the brush in the all nighter, then I dip it in the pot and then I just go over like this. This is probably my, my most important brush, the 263 from MAC. This brush, I don't, I, I mean, I actually do my makeup without this brush, obviously, but I use it for so much. And when you use the all nighter mixed with this uh, pigment, it kind of turns it into a, like a liquid uh, eyeshadow that dries nice and quickly because of the all nighter it has a little bit of alcohol in it. So, you know, alcohol dries a little faster. Like that, honestly, great. And then I go in to make it less like streaky. I go in with the uh, eyeshadow without the all nighter. Honestly, great. I'm doing a good job. If you say something nice to yourself today, be kind to you. Say something nice right now. Do you want to try it, Jacob? Um, you know, I have a really bad ass. <laughs> the thing, the thing, dumpy, honey. What about you? You know, I perform very well under pressure. I'm very proud of myself for that. Also, ass fat. I actually don't have a fat ass. I mean, my ass isn't tiny, 
But I also have a friend with a gigantic ass, so I guess my barometer for what a fat ass is is a little bit different. The friend is Naomi. <laughs> also, girl, sometimes when I'm, I'm up here and I'm like, oh, I missed one little thing. I always remember myself, I wipe this makeup off after five minutes. Like, I leave it on for a total of five minutes and I wipe it off. Well, I may leave it on until I go on stage, but there's five minutes of stage time for this makeup. If that. Say what? Also, guys, I think what I don't know. I would turn the fans off so we can film this video, and it is so fucking hot in here. The fact that I'm not sweating is a is a miracle of Botox. Truly, so I feel like people who don't get Botox really have a odd perception of what Botox is. Like I told my mom I was getting Botox, she was like, "Don't come back looking like Black China." I was like, "Mom, you think Black China just has Botox in? <laughs> you think there's you think there's just like a little bit of Botox she got put in?" I think there's a little more than Botox going on with, with Miss Black China. Oh, I'm using the Pomo palette. Hey, um, this is the color Dark Humor. This is literally my favorite black eyeshadow, and I'm not just saying that. I'm also thinking about doing a video where I rank my favorite um, top 10 Drag Race villain moments. If you want that video, please comment below. Now, I also wanna do top 10 favorite Rue Girl music videos. Cause I feel like a lot of us have some great videos and like they do not get the play and the love they deserve. Cause we have some great stuff out there. Is one stick out in your head? Black pop off the drag queen. I mean, it is a good video. This is called La Metier Debut. And this is called La Strada Blush Highlighter Duet. Yo, this is my new favorite highlighter. Like I'm, uh, I, 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 there's no other one. I used to use Anastasia Beverly Hills' uh, glow, glow Kit for a long time. But I am now full on Le Matier Debut. I see why Pheromone was so into highlighter. She was so ahead of the game. What an innovator. Icon of innovation. But if you're thinking to yourself, wow, this is really, you know, a lot of sh highlighter. It's a fucking, there's an arena here. Some people are sitting half a mile away. Could be even a half a mile. But a hundred yards away. Here's something I've been doing lately, and I do, not, I do not know if it's working, but I know that I'm doing it, so. I do my inner eyeliner a little differently now. Can anyone even tell the minute difference between this and what I normally do? Like, literally anyone. There are certain makeup activities I cannot talk during. Mainly eyebrows and eyeliner. Anything with liquid or gel liner, I need you to, like, just not. You know what I mean? Yeah, I actually don't know why I do such a sharp line and then soften it with this fucking eyeshadow on the end, but I do. Gary Sinai, I thought daughter. I don't know why gay son thought daughter is such an absurd concept to me, but I mean, can I have two kids? Can I have a gay son and a thought daughter? What if you're the gay son and the thought daughter? You know, I wonder. I wonder about the origins of gay son and thought daughter. Have you seen all those? I mean, have you seen all those influencer like videos of influencers that, like at the Grammys asking like celebrities gay son or thought daughter? No, you haven't seen this. No. Like they hired one TikToker to do like Red Carver press, and he just he goes up to like I forget who like like, like Hel Helen Mirren, like literally like Oscar award nominated actress America Ferrera, and is like gay son or thought daughter, and she's like, what? Honestly, is it camp? Is it iconic? <laughs> do you have a favorite Madonna song? You know, so my favorite Madonna song has certainly changed. Before doing this tour, it was Vogue, which is basic, but like, just shut up. It's a good song. Um, now, my favorite Madonna song is hands down, Groove, Get Into The Groove. This is such a bop. It is such a good song. Get into the groove, boy, you got to prove your love to me. And then uh, Missy Elliott did a um, did a remix of it called like the LA remix or the Los Angeles, what is it called? The Hollywood remix? Mm -hmm. How you say, you say mm, like you know? I don't know. I love how affirming you are, though. Get into the Hollywood groove. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. So good. Oh my god, I just really love that song. Can I tell you what I really, actually, really love about this concert? Is you see so many people in the audience who have been coming to these concerts for literally forty years. Like literally, have been coming to these concerts for forty years. Some people have never missed one. Ever. I mean, not never missed a single concert, but people who are like, they've seen every tour she's done. Especially these like, these gay guys and these ladies who are over 50, but when they are here, they are like young again. It's like they, it's like they are in their twenties for just for the night. 
and it's honestly really fucking great to see and you can see that they're like just enjoying themselves and, and they feel free and they feel you know just it, it, it's it's really clear that that it's a special night for them i mean it's a special night for even even the very young people who show up it's a special night for them too but it is amazing to see these people who like grew up with madonna and some of them are bringing their kids to a madonna concert like it's really cool the idea that I've, I've seen several people out there who are like i'm bringing my kids to a madonna concert and my mom brought me to a madonna concert that's kind of iconic actually so shout out to madonna for that because that's really just kind of beautiful and being able to see your fans grow with you and become new people at the same time that you're becoming a new person, multiple new people. I mean, we're, we're constantly changing all the time. And when you're when you're around someone whose whose impact is so large, why am I covered in glue? What the fuck is going on? I'm literally covered in glue. I was saying when you're around someone whose impact is so large, it's really uh, notable and it's really uh, humbling to to be around. It must be humbling to be her, to be honest. Is it? I don't fucking know. I'll ask her. No, I'll tell you what she says. Shout out to Layla McQueen for stacking these lashes for me. Ugh, like, I was stacking my own lashes for the first couple of shows, and then I got to Chicago and Layla did them for me. And the way people were like, oh my God, instantly. Instantly. This is why she's so good. This is why she's so brilliant. That's these rumors about this. Um, this, uh, not rumors, it's not a rumor at all, but Shea kool posted online. She said, uh, we go back to All-Stars, but the first out has to compete with the winner in, in teams. And I was like, I love all of y'all, but me and Layla are about to clean up. So Clean up. You wouldn't count Nisha over you know, the Well, Nisha came back. back, though. So her placement is higher. Yeah, that's fair. You know what I mean? So I, I feel like when you come back, your placement becomes a new placement. And me and Layla would just honestly eat the girlies up. Now, I think that we might get some... A, some a, a run for our money in Kelly Mantle and you can come in. Oh yeah, come in, come in, come in. We're we're filming some stuff. This is William, y'all. William hey there. Does, William takes care of this this beautiful wig. It was created by him and the team. Um, Andy, and Andy, Andy, and um, creation. And who else? The, the lady from LA. I can't remember her name. The lady from LA who met. Who, oh, Mariah. Mariah, yeah, Andy, um, William. There's probably a lot of hands yeah, on this. Yeah, there's a this. lot of hands on this. Corvette was a big help with uh, well, show them. constructing. You gotta, you gotta oh, sorry, I'm just for them. I'm model it for it. Why don't you model it? <laughs> well, we'll put it on later. So, yeah, like, it's, it's Marie Antoinette, and we've got our, the roles. It's it's supposed to look oh, slightly disheveled as uh, uh, direction from uh, the artist. Mm -hmm. um, M has requested that it looks like, you know, uh, Bob has been out drinking and dancing and having and a good I time. Have. And I have. So if you notice like a curls come undone or there's a little bit of uh, cotton candy kind of texture, it's intentional. That's on poipus. Um, hand dyed, hand tied, um, bundles yeah. on bundles. Human hair. It's beautiful, a stunning, gorgeous piece of uh, And the feathers, they, you know. But they replaced them? We're, I've ordered new ones to, re uh, to replace so the, the dusters. So the truth is, I am very tall, and this, this wig is very tall, and then there's feathers coming out of the top. So I walk through the arena, and I just collect dust. Yes, you with, are the housekeeper between your dressing room and to the stage. Just which stresses- The pipes, the door frames, anything hang, lo, hanging low. I it do. It just gets dusted with this. Feather. That stresses poor William out, which is understandable to be fair. All right, I know you had to run. Thank you so much. All right, All right. love you. You're very kind. I'll be back. This is the lipstick that I use pretty much every time I get in drag. It's called Velvet Teddy by Mac. Every time. Every time I love this lipstick. Every time. I love this lipstick. Look like you're looks like I'm sure. Plus, it's coming in a variety of colors. The insides are kind of the same color. Once you're in there, it's kind of like one, well, like maybe like slight variations. You know what I mean? This is by Milani Lumi Luminous Hot. Lumin Luminosa. I'm Milani Luminosa. And so, my life is kind of crazy. Listen, guys, this is the face. This is the look. This is the opening face for me for the Madonna World Tour, the Celebration Tour. You can get tickets at seethedragqueen.com and also madonna.com. 
Um, but you know, go to my website. Madonna's got enough going. I mean, my website literally just directs you back to Madonna. And if you're watching on YouTube, there's probably a link down there to go get a ticket to see me somewhere near you. Also, I'm going to be in Australia in July doing my solo tour, kicking off my world solo tour. And hopefully I'll be coming to America and Europe and the UK and uh, Europe and the UK. Oh, listen to me. I want to go to South America. I want to go to Africa. I want to go to Asia. I want to go, I, I want to do a proper world tour. So if there's, if there's the man, then I'll be there. Also, I do have exclusive merchandise for sale just from this tour. Um, I, on my website, uh, bobthedragqueen.com, just click shop the drag queen and you can see my two, my shirts. I have a, a handkerchief and this really cool fan which has all of my looks from this tour on it. Baby, we do looks on this tour. This is really beautiful garment. So and we got some photo shoots coming out. I'm really fucking excited. This tour has been kind of crazy to do. Kind of crazy. Come on in. This tour has been this tour has been kind of crazy to do, but I fucking did it. So, I actually, haven't done it. I'm doing it. It's not over. Oh my god, one day is gonna be over. I've been doing this for so long. I, I feel like this is like my whole life now. It, it kind of feels like I'm a nine to fiver, low key a little bit in a weird way. Except it's four to two. Except it's four. <laughs> a four to twoer. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. All right, bye, everyone.